to stream to YouTube in 4K. Here are your best settings. Go to the settings tab down in the bottom right hand corner. This is going to be a combination of the official YouTube recommended settings for this plus my own from 15 years of experience doing professional broadcasting. All right, the video tab is your first stop where you're going to set your resolution as well as your frame rate. Your resolution is going to be 3840 by 2160. Copy that and paste it in the field below. What are these two fields? If you're wondering, the base canvas resolution is this area down here where you're actually building all of your content. See my hand waving down there? I want that to be the same resolution that is going to be the output, which is the output scaled resolution here that your audience is going to see on YouTube. It helps most people understand what the final product is going to look like. For your downscale filter, I recommend selecting the 36 samples option, which is maximum here, Lands Coast 36 samples. You most likely have an incredibly powerful computer to try to do this. If you don't, by the way, I have a link in the description below to my recommended 4K streaming laptop that will be able to pull off 4K streaming for you. For your frame rate, it's up to you what you want to select here, but the two common frame rates that I recommend are 30 frames per second for on-camera content like this, webinars, uh, you know, just chatting stuff, podcasts, etc. 30 frames is fine for that. If you're doing anything super high motion like sports or gameplay or high motion trailers, you need to bump it up to 60 frames per second. For today's tutorial, I'll do 30, but I will tell you later on some special settings for 60, such as bitrate. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK because we need to go over to the neglected audio tab. Audio tab. For your sample rate, select 44.1 kilohertz. That's YouTube's recommendation, not mine. If you have selected 48 because of your hardware, YouTube's recommended 44.1. Test 44.1. Make sure everything syncs. Make sure it sounds okay. And if it does, use 44.1 because that's what YouTube wants you to do. Audio devices, disable all of them. Why? Because you don't want surprises, you don't want pop-ups, you don't want stuff popping up in the background with your audio that you did not add yourself. So add all of your audio devices down here in the mixer manually. Do not let it auto give you a mic in desktop audio. I've done multi-million dollar webinars, people's Slack notifications going off during their streams. It's embarrassing. Do not let that happen. Disable all your audio devices and manually add them. Take control of your OBS experience and your viewer's experience. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK. The next stop is going to be output. This is where all the complicated settings are and the crazy 4K enthusiast settings that you are trying to do are located. Output mode is probably going to be on simple when you arrive here. Drop this menu down and make it advanced. That's going to unlock everything that you see here. I do not recommend when it comes to the encoder attempting to do this with an x264 encoder just don't do it it's just not going to work it's probably it's probably not going to work i recommend only using an nvidia encoder to pull this off why so that your graphics card can take on the massive encoding load of 4k video link in the description below to that laptop that can definitely handle this it's got a 4k monitor it's got a giant hard drive it's got a 2000 series graphics card it's got the fastest processor available in a laptop i'm recording on it right now for this tutorial link below to that nvidia nvenc encoder is what you'll select here uncheck enforce streaming service encoder settings uncheck that because you're blowing it out here my friends your rate control is going to be cbr constant bitrate you do not want variable bitrate constant bitrate will give you a consistent image quality for 30 frames per second streams your minimum bitrate here is 13,000 kbps that's 13 megabytes per second upload minimum the maximum that YouTube recommends is 34,000 kbps, 34 megabytes per second upload. How do you know if you have enough upload to handle this? Okay, well, it's 34,000, aka 34 megabytes per second upload. You wanna make sure that you have at least 50% more total upload speed than you're using on your live stream. That's just the way to maximize reliability and prevent frame drops. So if you are trying to stream at 34,000 kbps, 
you need to have 50% more of that. You can do some quick math. You're adding 17 more megabytes on top of that. 34 plus 17 is 51. So if you want to max out this bit rate, I recommend having 51 megabytes per second as your upload speed. If you are attempting to stream at 34 megabytes per second upload speed, I know that might sound crazy, but I'm telling you the 50% rule has saved my butt on so many webinars over the years. Great. That is your 30 frames per second settings. I'm going to go over 60 in just a moment. We'll come back to that for all of you enthusiasts. Keyframe interval recommended is two from YouTube, not zero, but two right here. Your, your, you should just do max quality. No problem. Your profile should be high. You need to turn off look ahead. It's not going to help you. Most likely leave on psycho visual tuning. Great. Go ahead and hit apply, but do not yet hit OK. Special note, if for some reason your NVIDIA graphics card cannot handle the load of this 4K streaming, OK, for some reason it can't, you can bump down this preset right here. You may be running into encoding overload on older NVIDIA cards. You can bump it down to max performance if you want. If you're getting an encoding overload, max performance can help solve that problem, but by default, you probably have the highest end hardware, so max quality is probably the best option for you. Go up to audio. Here in the audio tab, there's a recommended setting from YouTube. Your audio bitrate should be 128. I know you probably wish, because you're going for max quality here, it could be 320. Look, you can try to stream in 320, no, no problem. YouTube recommends 128. I think you should do the recommended settings. So do 128. Hit apply, but do not yet hit OK, because for all of you 60 frames per second streamers out there, I'm about to tell you your crazy bit rates you're going to need to pull this off. Your minimum bit rate, if you're trying to stream at 60 frames per second on a 4K stream, is 20,000 kbps. You're crazy. So your minimum here, if you're going to do my 50% rule, you're going to want 30 megabytes upload as your minimum if you want to stream at 60 frames per second. YouTube's maximum recommended here is a pretty preposterous number. It is 51,000 kbps, so 51 megabytes upload speed. Maybe your upload can handle that. Maybe it can't. If you try to, if you try to stream at that bit rate, Almost any computer will be pushed to its maximum limitations. So you may want to consider getting a 30 series graphics card to handle that and one of the fastest processors on earth to handle something like this and a ton of RAM, 32 gigabits, gigabytes at least to try to handle a bitrate like this. Your total internet upload speed, if you're going to attempt to do a stream at 51 megabytes per uh, upload speed, you're going to want at least, what is it, 74? 5.5, something like that, 75.5 megabytes upload, okay? 75 plus megabytes upload speed if you're going to attempt to stream at this bit rate right here. Why do I use the 50% rule? Because internet speeds, as you know, fluctuate quite a bit. And if you're pushing this much data through any pipes, there will be fluctuation guaranteed and you do not want to drop frames especially for those of you that are streaming in 4K, because you are obviously trying to maximize quality, drop frames are a nightmare for someone like you. Hit apply, then you now have my permission to hit OK. If you would like me to help you with your very ambitious streaming plans or your YouTube channel or your social media strategy, I've literally been doing this for a living for the last 10 years. I built the number one gaming video network of all time. And I help creators from millions of subscribers to people that are just starting out, help them become successful, awalldigital.com is my website. Go there, book me. Just select your day, select your time, enter your information. Boom. I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call helping you with whatever you need customized to your online broadcasting goals.